Hi guys, Amber here for Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, May 23rd, 2017. I'm telling you right now there's going to be a lot of head holding uh, during this video. I not only have my glasses off so that I don't go blind with the glare from my glasses, and I've been trying to film for about an hour now. Um, for some reason, if I don't have enough shadow on my face right now, I completely white out and I... There I go. White as a ghost. So, um, I can't find the right settings. I am too tired to mess with it. So, lots of head holding and whining about it. Um, I don't have a lot to show you guys right now simply because, um, one project I'm working on is done, but I'm waiting to show you guys that. One project I haven't made any progress on, and I don't know why. I'm just kind of brick walled on that. Um, and then another project I'm working on right now, um, which I didn't work on tonight because I have my genealogy program, um, that one has to be done by Sunday. If I remember, I will try to film something so you guys can see it in all its glory. If not, I definitely will take a picture and I will share that with you guys next week if I don't post it on Facebook first. So, I'm really sorry I'm impersonating Voldemort by going completely white. I'm trying to keep it from doing that. So, um, I do have some purchases to show off, um, and truthfully, I bought these probably the day or the day after, um, Rainy posted them online, and so this purchase, I'm going to blame on Rainy. Um, I went out and purchased some of the Lord of the Rings fabric. Uh, I got a couple of yards of it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I haven't a clue, um, but it will be used for something in the near future, I'm sure. That or, you know, I will just have it for several years and ten years down the road I'll figure it out. Then I also purchased some of the flannel fabric, and this is where it's just completely dumb on my part, really guys, because I don't sew anything with flannel fabric. I wouldn't know the first thing to do with flannel fabric, but yet I bought a couple of yards of it. Mostly because I can't resist Frodo. Then, um, I did make another purchase late last week, and this is one of those convoluted stories, right? My sister, I, she, she never asks me for crafty things, really. Um, but when she does, it's always something... She has a lot of faith in my abilities. She really thinks that it's something I can get done super fast and it's not going to cause me any irritation to do. Um, and I love her for thinking that of me. My mom says she thinks I'm the smartest person she knows and that's really not true either because I'm pretty sure um, she's smarter than me. But anyway, uh, she kind of was asking my mom if I would make some pillows for their couch. Not pillows per se, but pillow covers. Um, they're wedding photographers, so a lot of their business they do, they actually like meet with their clients in their home and everything. Um, and I've been on their couch and there are no pillows on it. So uh, they had found some fabric at Joann's, at their Joann's, and wanted to know if um, I would make them pillow form, uh, pillow covers. And initially, I was surprised my mom said no. Well, she didn't say no. She's like, I'm not sure Amber has the time. She's never used that kind of fabric. So God love my mom for trying to get me out of something. But for some reason, um, that little devil sits on my shoulder and says, Hey, wait a second, what about it? So I talked to a couple of, of my favorite sewing gurus. Uh, one being our fearless leader. The other, somebody I work with, um, who's actually also my genealogy buddy. Um, and they both assured me that I could do it. So I went out and bought the fabric that they wanted, because of course they had it at my Joanne too. And it, it feels like canvas material to me. It says it's a denim, um, but I picked up enough to make three, so if I screw one up, and if they work, then I'll have an extra one. And I also picked up some denim needles. I hope that's the right kind to have. Um, so we'll see. That's going to be my project this weekend. 
Um, so I, I did my one program tonight, which is part of the other reason I'm tired. And, um, I've got another one on Thursday that's about an hour away from where I live. So let's hope for good weather on Thursday because I don't want to be traveling in bad weather on two lane highways. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a rinky dink town, but, um, they heard about my program that I did in March for my society and are really interested in it. So I'm going to go do that. Um, then hopefully this weekend I can get calmed down and back on track doing more crafting and stuff like that. Um, my mom did tell me before my program tonight that my one uncle that I still want to DNA test will be in town this summer like I had hoped. So um, I will probably get him to do his spit kit for me. I'm hoping next week to see my youngest aunt's daughter uh, and get her to do a spit kit for me. Uh, then my last aunt that I want to, I really want to test, my mom's middle sister, has expressed interest. I just got to figure out how to get a kit to her for the simple fact that she lives in Texas and I live here. And, uh, I'm kind of OCD where, like, I want to be there to make sure everything's done right. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I know at least she's interested, so... It may be something where either she might come to town, although she hasn't come to town in years at least that I remember, um, or maybe one of my cousins will get married and I'll be able to go to that and uh, see her there. So that makes me happy. I'm actually probably going to buy a couple more kits once payday hits just to make sure I have uh, kits for family members. Um, but other than that, that's kind of what's going on in my life. I hope to talk to you guys next week and show you that I've made progress on some things. And, um, yeah, that's it for me. Bye.